The U.S. House Armed Services Committee has threatened to limit those resources to the country's most significant program for a new fighter aircraft, creating combat programs from the Air Force and Navy, unless the two services provide more information about the covert effort. Reports are reported for 85% of revenue to receive independently conducted by the Pentagon's Director of Costs and Program Evaluation. This isn't the first time they've launched a next-generation fighter program experiencing the experience between civilians wanting to know more about the capabilities and developers trying to keep their program secret. The F-22 Raptor and A-12 Avenger faced similar scrutiny in the 1990s, with the more covert A-12 being scrapped despite its lower cost. Estimated program costs $57 billion to $67 billion Raptor, partly due to the fact that the government had too little information about it that matter. The Navy is notably experiencing a significant budget reduction for its next generation fighter program in 2021, but with the F-18E Super Hornet design aging rapidly and being deemed insufficient for high air superiority missions, acquiring a next generation fighter is considered a matter of urgency. The air superiority fighter is expected to integrate a variety of new features including superior durability, sensors, flight performance, and a greater focus on electronic warfare for survivability. For navies in particular, long range will be considered important by the large reach in the Pacific theater where they are expected to fight. Today's carrier-based fighters rely heavily on mid-air refueling to cater for their weaknesses. A third third fighter aircraft program, the Secondary Air Force Program, was also envisaged with the specific role of escorting B-21 bombers over enemy territory. Known as the Penetrating Counter Air Fighter, it remains highly uncertain whether it will be co-funded with the other two programs, but could benefit from sharing technology and research and development benefits with the Air Force's Next Generation Program. America's first-generation fighters are expected to see their first look at the end of the decade. 